Lawmakers are demanding to know how Jeffrey Epstein could have taken his own life while in federal custody. The apparent suicide of the money manager who was being held without bail on federal sex trafficking charges has provoked widespread outrage and now investigations. House Judiciary Chairman Gerald Nadler sent a scathing letter on Monday to the acting director of federal prisons looking for answers ranging from the suicide prevention policies at the Manhattan prison where Epstein was housed to information on the guards on duty and whether video cameras were in use. This echoes concerns voiced by U.S. Attorney General William Barr on Monday, who said the FBI and DOJ would investigate. I was appalled, and indeed the whole department was, and frankly, angry, to learn of the MCC's failure to adequately secure this prisoner. We are now learning of serious irregularities at this facility that are deeply concerning and demand a thorough investigation. Epstein was arrested on July 6th and pleaded not guilty to federal charges of sex trafficking involving underage girls as young as 14. The 66-year-old financier had been on suicide watch, but apparently the watch was lifted. According to the New York Times, several high-ranking prison officials, including the prison's chief psychologist, would have had to approve such a measure. It was not clear why he was taken off suicide watch or why he was in a cell by himself when his body was found. The New York Times reported that one of the two people guarding Epstein was not a full-fledged corrections officer, and neither guard had checked in on him for several hours before his body was discovered. The New York City medical examiner said that an autopsy had been completed on Epstein on Sunday, but that a determination on the cause of his death was still pending. Nadler demanded the Prisons Bureau respond to the Judiciary Committee by August 21st.